question. Obviously, first of all, how much fun are you having doing Princess Gina? Again? Oh my gosh, so fun! Are you enjoying her? Very much. Uh, it's just seeing the um, progression of you know losing hope and turning into Gina. It's just been so amazing to I watch. I do love how it was a slow progression. Uh, it wasn't like boom, all of a sudden. This, it, it, it was different than last time. Last time it was I think the satellites or something happened. Um, as this time it was the shot, it was the slow progression. She oh, I didn't know that. She couldn't understand really what was going on, and her head was hurting just a little bit here. Oh, oh that feels good. And, um, and then all of a sudden it hit. I mean, what and was the that? The stars aligned, and you know. She was on the ground of the lair. Was there a challenge for you to kind of find her voice again? Because you do kind of a unique, I don't know if it's an accent it's or a, It's a, mid, a yeah. mid-Atlantic accent, yeah. no contractions, and just better um, English than myself. Okay. Did, was it hard to find that again or just find it at this time? Yes, especially when she's speaking rapidly and trying to get things across. And actually, there's a scene, couple of scenes where... Well, more than a couple of scenes where she goes from one to the other, and then it's like just a blink. Um, and there's scenes that we have that I'm Princess Gina, and then I'm Hope, and then I'm Princess Gina, and it's all in the same scene where it's. You know. Yeah, Galen, how is that? Um, is that is it different? How is it challenging? Is it yeah. fun? Um, yeah, it's totally fun and totally different um, and like very, I remember the, after the first scenes that we had, I was like, oh my God, that was so weird. It was so disjointed for me. And On the belt? Yes. Belt yes. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of times as an actor, like you're, especially after all these years, like you have these feelings that are part and parcel of what your character is going through. And I remember thinking, God, why was that so weird? And I was like, well, of course, because... We had no connection because, like, you have no. You're like, who the hell is this guy? And I'm like, wait, this is acting so, so close to normal, but just a little off. What was she wearing? And the, like all these different things. It's like and I'm asking her these questions after Jennifer got thrown off the balcony. And, uh, yeah, it's a trip. And it's really fun to go down these journeys. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, and has that continued with the time, you know post time jump? You know, talk about that was dealing with that. that. Was fun for myself because I had to discover who this man was. I didn't know who he was, and I do love. And I thought that was a brilliant move on Ron's part of not giving her all of Princess Gina's memories, yeah. um, or I should say, all of Paul's memories. So I had to slowly peel back the onion and discover who was this person. Oh, I was married to you. And he, but he's no John. But he's no John. She was crushing pretty hard, though. <laughs> she was. Not really. No. What's her John? 